Hi, my name is nah, <laughs> my name is what? <laughs> chicken, chicken, Slim Dio. Uh, what's up, people? My name is Dio Katunga. I do comedy and a lot of shit. That's it. <laughs> I was born and raised in Bulgaria. I'm half Congolese, half Bulgarian, fully identify African American. <laughs> Life is easier this way. And then what? Then I moved to Germany because I needed to run away from a place and live in a place that's not that known for racism. I don't know, I've always been black, you know what I mean? And in Bulgaria there wasn't that many black kids anyway. And I tried to fit in all types of different ways and be all types of different people just to try and like be a part of the thing. It never freaking worked, so I was like, might as well just try and understand what me is. And then people are gonna stare and like be weird anyway, so. You know, might as well just figure out who I am and try and present this out to people. What I like about Berlin is that there's a mess ton of all types of, I don't know, really evolved uh, underground scenes for all types of things. So there's jazz, there's music, there's freaking comedy as I do. Uh, there's uh, indie movies that are going around. There's all types of things and you can always get really involved in all of the scenes. How comedy came into my life, more or less. Uh, when we skate, we always film shit. We always film footage of tricks or like background stuff. And uh, there's like a video that a friend of mine took. We're like out partying and being goofy. And like some of our friends are just sitting around, I don't know, it was just outside sitting on our boards and all that shit. It was like maybe 10 people. And I'm just standing up like busting jokes to people, making people laugh. Cause it's just, I don't know how I was. And then I'm like, yo, I got a script. I, I want to do some comedy for you guys. Maybe one day I can, I don't know, find a bar that's going to allow me to do it and I can do it for you. And then like three years later or four years later, it actually happened. And I felt the same thing that I felt when I started skating. I was like, because when I started skating, first thing I did was fall on my face. I was like, this is going to be hard. Good. You know, it makes sense to put in work because I know I'm going to get better and I know that there's ways to get better i just don't know them yet same thing with comedy first time i did it super good 26 minutes people were laughing uh, high-fiving whatever it was nice and then these like three minutes were like so hard like i bombed like insanely hard i was almost like dude this is this is fucking shitty but at the same time i was like perfect because it felt the same way like falling on my face with the with the skateboard i was like all right this is gonna be hard but it makes sense to put in time because there is ways to learn how to get better. So I was like, let's go. And now I'm basically the same love that I have for skateboarding I have for comedy. And comedy, I learn kind of through the way that I learned skating. Because now it's like, okay, I know you can build a basic. I know you can have like a base of something and then put little blocks on it. And okay, I already have this tower. Let me see the stuff that I suck at and build them. And then, you know, you make little tools and so on and so forth, you just get better and better and better and then you understand, oh shit, I don't know jack shit. And then you learn more shit and it's like always oh, like this and it's good. It's evolving. When you're on stage to do comedy, anything is allowed, right? You can sing, you can dance, you can, you know what I mean? It, the, the whole idea is just to bring laughter out of people. So it's like for the, the time that I have on stage, I'm like, dude, I can literally be anything that I can imagine, right, anything. And I can bring this to the, if I want to be a dragon and I'm explaining a bit, for example, a joke that I f think I'm a dragon in a, or a dragon does something to somebody, if I find it funny in my head, I can put you in my world now, at least before I didn't know how to, but now I can put you in my world and I can show you how through the eyes of a dragon it would be funny to burn down a village or some shit, you know what I mean? It's, it's like. I could be anything there, and it's, it's just so nice. I don't know. It's literally the best thing. No, I'm not scared to make mistakes anywhere. That's the cool thing. I mean, you make mistakes, it means you're trying, it means you're going to learn something. And before, I was way angrier. I was just a pissed off little kid 
just going up and it wasn't even jokes at one point. It was just like me saying stuff that happened to me in my life and me thinking it's funny, but seeing like terror in like people's eyes, you know, because it was I was still speaking from pure emotion, just shit that happened, just letting stuff out. And yeah, after four years, I'm like a way happier person. I was like, because most of the shit that I talk about is real things that happened to me. And some of it is like hurtful. But now when so many people have laughed at it and I've laughed at it with them, it's like it, all of the power from all of the stuff that made me feel super shitty as a teenager, I was just gone. You know, none of this is here anymore. And I have way more acceptance towards myself and towards other people simultaneously. It's, I don't know, I'm just happier, more energetic, more, I don't know, look positively on life way more positive. Like the possibilities of me before like thinking about it were like in one place and now the possibilities are like way, way further. Kitties, like, way further. <laughs>